Hey everyone, it's Tony Janicor here in Brookline, Massachusetts at Run Strong Studio. This is my the new digs. And I want to talk about the deadlift today. And one cue that's used a lot that I feel like <clears throat> is often misinterpreted or kind of confusing to some people is the whole idea of getting slack out of the bar. Um, when I say get tension and get slack out of the bar, I'm really thinking about two areas I want to get slack out. I want to get slack out of the bar, of course, but I also want to make sure that my clients and athletes get the slack out of their elbows because I see a lot of them set up to the point where their elbows are bent and they try to yank the bar off the ground. And that's going to be problematic for a few reasons. Number one, you run the risk of tearing your bicep tendon off and we don't want that. And number two, you have no tension to, to pull heavy weight and, that, and that's a big no-no when we're, when we're talking about deadlift success. So number one, when we set up, we want to make sure our elbows are locked. They're locked out. So when we pull the weight, it's not yanking it off the ground. We're, we're putting force into the ground. We're pushing into the ground to pull the weight up. So with, with uh, regards to actually pulling tension out of the bar, that's just a fancy way of saying getting tension in your lats, getting tension in the hamstrings, getting your weight back, bending the bar before you pull it, and that way we're, we're ensuring proper tension, we're ensuring a good setup, and we're gonna pull heavy weight. So to see that in action, I'm gonna use straight elbows, and what I'm gonna do is I'm pulling the bar, I'm trying to bend the bar right now, I'm using it as a counterbalance to get my weight back, to keep my chest up, I have a ton of tension in my, ham in my hamstrings, a ton of tension in my lats, and that, what that's gonna do is prevent me when I do my initial pull from doing this, which is a no-no, and also coming up with the hips first. Because whenever I see either of the two, that's just indicative of somebody not having appropriate attention in their setup. So again, getting slack out of the bar is using it as a counter, counterbalance to get your, get your weight back, bend the bar before you pull it, put force into the ground, and finish with a good pull. Now, if you don't have the luxury of having a Texas power bar, which is what this is, and it's gonna have a lot of bend to it anyways, if this is a standard barbell, one way you can kind of cue yourself to get tension out of the bar, get slack out of the bar, is to make the barbell click twice before you pull it. So it's gonna be hard to do with this, with this barbell because I'm using rubber plates, but if I had iron plates on here and I go to pull the bar and pull the bar, you're gonna hear a click on either side. And if you hear it click, there's a good chance you got tension out of the bar, you got good tension in your lats, you got good tension in your hamstrings, and you're gonna have a pretty good pull. So again, that's what we mean when we say get tension out of the bar, or get slack out of the bar, and it's all about making sure and ensuring that we get tension. So we're, so we're not gonna be doing a poor technique with our deadlift. So hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully it's something you guys can use right away, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.